The State of Developer Ecosystem 2019. This is a report put out by JetBrains. If you don't know JetBrains, they put out some of the best integrated development environment in the game. PHP Storm, Py PyCharm, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, let me just read a few things here. In the beginning of 2019, we pulled almost 7,000 developers to identify the state of the developer ecosystem. I'm paraphrasing a little bit. Here's what we learned. Let's check it out. Let's go to the key takeaways. Java, the most popular primary programming language. Most developers will use multiple languages, so it's one of the reasons why I say it's kind of silly to get caught up about what's the most popular. But anyway, uh, that said, JavaScript, the most used overall programming language, that makes sense because JavaScript is used in the web browser. If you're doing React, Angular, you're doing your basic website, you're going to be using JavaScript, and you can use JavaScript for server-side programming. Go, the most promising programming language. What does that mean? Go started out with a share of 8% in 2017, and now it has reached 18%. In addition, the biggest number of developers, 13%, chose Go as a language they would like to adopt or migrate to. That's still minor numbers. I would put Go on a perhaps to learn list. Um, you know, the top languages to learn, of course, are HTML, CSS, JavaScript, Python. Anyway, let me just continue with this report. Python, the most studied language. 27% of respondents have stated, have started or continued to learn Python in the last 12 months. What programming languages have you used in the last 12 months? So uh, JavaScript, 65%, 69%, excuse me, HTML, CSS, 61 well, HTML and CSS are coding languages, but they're not programming languages, but whatever. Uh, SQL, 56%. SQL, if you don't know, is a structured query language. It's uh, the language of relational databases. You're probably going to be using SQL, if you're, especially if you're in the web area. Java, 50%. Python, 49%. Shell scripting languages. That's a broad thing. That's 40%. PHP, 29%. TypeScript, 25%, C-sharp, 24%, C++, 20, 20%, Go, 18%, C-17%, Kotlin, 16 That's pretty fast growth for Kotlin, considering how young a language it is. Swift, 11%, Ruby, 11 Objective-C, 6 Scala, Dart, Groovy, R, Visual, ba Visual Basic, <laughs> Rust, Lua, Perl, MATLAB, Assembly, Elixir, Haskell, CoffeeScript, Clojure, Julia, F-Sharp, Delphi, Christo, and others. The programming languages with the most love are Java and Python. Second place is a tie between C-Sharp and JavaScript. But if the results are normalized by sample size, C-Sharp is the most loved language. What are your primary programming languages? Choose no more than three languages. 40% chose JavaScript. 34% Java, 27% Python, 23% HTML, CSS, 19% SQL, 18% PHP, 15% C Sharp, and you can read the rest. I'm going to expand. Ooh, Swift, 4%. All right, let's go on. We asked three questions about the languages people use. First, we asked about the use of any last year. Second, we asked about the primary languages up to three. And finally, we asked them to be ranked. There appears to be a group of secondary languages, ones used mainly as an additional language, which include HTML, SQL, and shell scripting. A lot of software developers have some practice with these secondary languages but very few work with them as their major language. For example, while 56% practice SQL, only 90% call it their primary language, and only 1.5% rank it as their first language. That makes sense. Very few people are gonna be writing SQL constantly all day. You do use it on a regular basis, but it's gonna be a secondary language for sure. Java, on the other hand, is the leading solo language. 44% of its users 
use only Java or use Java first. The next top sold language is JavaScript with a mere 17%. Again, it makes sense. If you look at what Java does, it can be used for web apps, it can be used for uh, Android development, et cetera, et cetera. That makes perfect sense. Which operating systems are your development environments? 57% Windows, 49% Mac, 48% Linux, and other. So yeah, people always ask, what's the best operating system for software development? They're all, they're all good, right? Sometimes you have to use certain ones because of the type of development you're working on if you're going to be doing um, a Swift development for iOS. Of course, you need Mac OS. On the other hand, if you're doing .NET, you're probably going to be doing it on Windows. What types of applications do you develop? Uh, web backend, 60%. Web frontend, 46%. Mobile applications, 23%. Libraries and frameworks, 14. Desktop, 12. Other backend, 16. Data analysis, 13. Machine learning, 7. Games, 4%. Embedded IoT, 7%. See, this particular piece of data supports what I've been telling people for the longest time. If you want to get into software development, you can't beat the web stack, right? The web stack is by far dominant way ahead of mobile and desktop, way ahead of data analysis and machine learning. That's where the money is. Do you contribute to open source? Uh, most people don't. We'll skip that. What types of tests do you have in your project? 71% do unit testing, 47% do integration, 32 end to end. 16% of developers don't have any tests in their projects among fully employed senior developers, though that statistic is just 8%. Like last year, about 30% of developers still don't have unit tests in their projects. I believe in unit tests, but I believe unit tests in uh, more mature. If you're prototyping something, we just get it out as quickly as possible. Once we know what the use case is, we understand what the app has to, how, how it has to work, then we start putting in unit tests. Mobile. For which mobile operating systems do you develop? 83% Android, 59% iOS, 3% other. Two thirds of mobile developers use native tools to develop for mobile, mobile OS. Every other developer uses cross-platform technologies or frameworks. So according to this sample size, 7,000, group, this group of people, 30% are using cross-platform. And I think that is going to continue to increase where people are going to continue to jump into cross-platform development tech like a Flutter and React Native. Ah, which brings us to our next section. Which cross-platform mobile framework do you use? 42% use React. 30% use Flutter, which really surprises me considering that Flutter is so new. 29% Cordova, 28% Ionic, 26% Xamarin, 12% Unity. You get the idea. So uh, yeah, Flutter has risen super quickly. Which of the following tools do you use on a regular basis? 80% source code collaboration tool. 75% standard I, standalone IDE, 71% lightweight desktop editor, 45% continuous integration or continuous delivery tools, 44% issue tracker, you get the idea. 89% of developers customize their IDEs in some way. Well, yeah, no kidding. Uh, what are else, what else? What else do they have? Fun, do you code in your dreams? All right. I'll link to this uh, piece in the, in the description below so you can look at the other stuff. So there you go. According to JetBrains, again, let me stress, this is one company, a sample size, 7,000. They have a particular type of developer, but it gives you an idea of what's going on. One thing that you see across all the surveys, that JavaScript, Java, uh, Python, HTML, CSS, these are all tech, SQL, these are all coding languages, and in some cases programming languages, they're always at the top or near the top of a stack. And another takeaway we can see on all the surveys is that the web stack is still by far dominant. And in fact, I was talking to a friend of mine, and we were saying, wow, it's amazing 
how after all these years, the web is still by far the most important out there.